Five years ago today, Godzilla and Kong had this huge fight. Godzilla totally kicked Kong's butt and then disappeared into the abyss. No one has heard from Godzilla since that fateful day. But now, fast forward five years, and here's what's happening now. We see Green Island, the home of Kong. As Kong comes into view, it becomes clear that he has grown in size since we last saw him. When Kong awakens from sleep, he has fun in the water. We saw a little girl there. Kong liked her so much. They were great buddies. Kong never argued with her and accepted everything she said. But this girl couldn't speak or hear. We see that Kong is really aggressive. He was incredibly offensive. He grabs a tree and throws it up into the sky. It breaks the energy wall. We learn that Kong was imprisoned in town to prevent Godzilla from visiting. As these titans can defeat each other, there is a fear that they'll fight again. As Kong grew in size, it was decided to shift him somewhere else. Then we saw a man who worked for a company. He is a software expert. The company in which he worked made very modern stuff, such as machines, robots, etc. But that man doubts his company. The company is designing something that should not be made. Therefore, he hacks all the data in the company. He gets to know that this company is shifting a huge object to Hong Kong. But suddenly, the alarm starts ringing. It was an alarm that Godzilla was coming. In a short time, Godzilla comes out of the sea. As soon as he comes out, he starts destroying everything. No one could figure out why Godzilla was trying to kill everyone. Because he is a life-saving titan. Here is what we need to know about Godzilla's nuclear power. With his immense power, Godzilla unleashed destruction upon the entire company. The news that Godzilla had arrived spread throughout the entire world. But this time, his form has changed. He isn't like before. In the past, he saved people, and now he is killing everyone with aggression. The owner of the company tells everyone that his company is working on a project. They will succeed in making a device that is compatible with Godzilla. A girl named Madison watches this news. She doesn't believe in Godzilla's offense because she knows him very well. She considers this news a rumor. She contended that Godzilla couldn't hurt anyone because he helps and saves people. Madison goes to his father and makes him understand that he can't do anything like that. Someone did something to him. Madison's father explains to her that these creatures and titans are just like humans. They can change moods as well. Godzilla has changed, and he is killing humans. After it, Madison leaves and listens to that hacker's call. That hacker uploaded an online video about that hacker. Madison decides that she'll go and meet that hacker. She'll look into the matter and ask why Godzilla has become aggressive. Why did he destroy the company? Later, the company's owner meets a senior doctor named Nathan. Dr. Nathan was a scientist, in fact. The company's owner tells him that his concept of the Hollow Earth was accurate. This was the place where Titans were born. In fact, Dr. Nathan published a book about another Earth called Hollow Earth, which exists beneath the Earth. So, the owner of the company lets Dr. Nathan hang out with this other dude. It's totally hidden, and no one can even see it. It's like the secret power juice for those big titan dudes. But we have no clue where the heck it actually is. It is beneath our feet. As we take energy from the sun, these titans take energy from the hollow earth. If they succeed in finding the energy, they will be able to compete with Godzilla. Dr. Nathan asks, but how are we supposed to go there? My brother attempted a journey to the hollow earth a few years ago, but unfortunately, he didn't make it and passed away. It is said that gravity is absent within the hollow earth, causing everything to float in the air. Therefore, everything starts flying in the air. Dr. Nathan was reassured by the company owner, who informed him that they had developed an anti-gravity car. Because his company made an anti-gravity car, we'll go to the hollow earth with its help. The company's owner tells him that every titan has the ability, to find his own home. Therefore, we should seek help from Kong. After it, Dr. Nathan meets his doctor friend. This doctor took care of Kong. He tries to explain to her that we should send Kong to his house. His home is Hollow Earth, and we can't keep him there for long. If he gets out of here, Godzilla will attack him. Kong is only safe on Hollow Earth. After some discussion, that doctor agreed. They didn't have any other choice. Then they take Kong and their army to the Hollow Earth. Kong was chained. Kong's friend talks to Kong in sign language. Kong is enraged, because he is chained. The leader of the army says to the doctor that we won't go Godzilla's way. We'll use another way so that Godzilla doesn't get wind of it. That doctor says, yes, we should do it exactly like that. Godzilla and Kong are old rivals. Because both of them consider themselves king of the monsters. If they encounter each other, they will wreak havoc. Then Madison goes to meet that hacker with her friend. That hacker tells them that the company is doing a huge thing. That thing will be shifted to Hong Kong once it's made. 
Godzilla didn't like this, so, he destroyed the company. After that, we saw that an alarm began to sound inside the ship where Kong was located. That young girl has just informed that doctor that Godzilla is on his way. Dr. Nathan says that as Godzilla is coming outside, we should free and unchain Kong as well. So that he competes with Godzilla and saves us. Finally, Godzilla pops out. He's just wrecking a ship as he makes his way towards them. When Khan finds out Godzilla's on his way, he starts screaming his head off. And then they try shooting rockets and missiles at Godzilla, but it doesn't even phase him. Godzilla destroys their planes. Now Godzilla was moving towards Kong's ship. Godzilla destroys their ships. Godzilla turns their ship upside down. Due to this, Godzilla and many people start getting sunk in the sea. Then they untie Kong's chains. So Kong fights with Godzilla and saves them. Then Godzilla and Kong get into a huge fight. Kong throws Godzilla deep into the sea. Then he straightens the slanted ship, allowing people to be saved. Godzilla gets up once again, and he is going to the same ship where the girl was. Kong jumps from one ship to another, and reaches the ship where Godzilla was coming. Kong punches Godzilla really hard. Godzilla also punches him back. Kong falls down. Kong rises once more and attacks Godzilla, who is thrown into the sea. It makes Godzilla angry. Seeing it, he uses its nuclear power. Seeing it, Kong jumps into the water to save his life. The light of the nuclear power of Godzilla spreads all around, and everyone is astonished to see it. Here, we learn about the power of Godzilla. They start fighting in the sea. Godzilla could breathe in the water, but Kong, who was like humans, couldn't breathe in the water. Therefore, Kong seemed to be defeated. Godzilla was taking Kong into the depths of the sea to kill him. That doctor says that we should help Kong, otherwise, Godzilla will kill him. They blast many missiles into the sea. Kong comes out to save his life because of this. Dr. Nathan orders everyone to turn everything off. Turn off all the machines and engines, so that Godzilla thinks that we are dead and defeated. Godzilla gets all ticked off at Kong and storms off. The lady doctor says that if we keep going, Godzilla will notice us and come after us. And then they just shut everything down. How can we move forward, and how will we take Kong? Dr. Nathan says that we will take him by flying him up. On the other hand, we see Madison entering that company with her friends. She wanted to check out the things that this company was making, upon which Godzilla felt aggressive and attacked. There they find the huge eggs of an animal. As soon as they find the eggs, their door gets locked. In fact, the place where they were locked was a machine. It was taking them to Hong Kong along with the eggs. The army manages to successfully, transport him to the entrance of the Hollow Earth. They ask Kong to enter and explore the mysterious underground world. However, Kong refuses to go, standing firm. They decide that they will ask the girl to compel him, so that he goes there. Because he didn't refuse that girl. Kong will be made aware that your family and many other creatures are Kong goes to that hollow. They follow Kong in their anti-gra- It was a U- They had anti-gravity cars, so they're lying. Many different monsters were there in the Then a flying monster attacks their anti-gravity car. It was about to attack that girl, but Kong killed him. He detaches his head. After it, Kong moves forward, and everyone follows him. There was no gravity on the hollow earth, therefore, everything was flying in the air. Madison and her friends reach Hong Kong. They get to know about secret weapons there. This company has made another Godzilla to kill Godzilla. Its name was Mecha Godzilla. Its controller was the person who was introduced by the company's owner to Dr. Nathan. To check Mecha Godzilla's powers, the Skull Crawler is left there. Mecha Godzilla kills the Skull Crawler using his powers. Here, the issue is that they needed more power to run Mecha Godzilla. That power was only in the Hollow Earth. This was the reason the company's owner was searching for an energy source so that he could give life to Mecha Godzilla again. Later, we see that Mecha Godzilla is activated. As Mecha Godzilla becomes active, Godzilla feels it. He starts moving to Hong Kong, where Mecha Godzilla was. Hollow Earth had this energy thing in its mountains. Hollow Earth was super gorgeous. Kong moves there and opens its door. He growls. Kong finds a weapon, an axe made from Godzilla's body there. He sits at a place with his axe like a king. Godzilla reached Hong Kong, and now he is moving to Mecha Godzilla. Everyone starts running to save his life. Kong finds the energy source there, and he finds out that it can charge this axe too. Because his axe works when fully charged and becomes more powerful, Godzilla gets to know that someone has come, so he throws his nuclear power on the ground. That nuclear power pierces the ground and reaches Kong. The company's female owner plays a trick on them. The lady doctor tells her not to do it, 
but she doesn't really pay attention. Once she realizes Godzilla is coming, she starts running away. She sends a little bit of this energy to the company, so they can activate Mecha Godzilla. But then Kong destroys her car. Kong gets ready to fight Godzilla, holding his axe. Godzilla gave Kong a sign of war using nuclear power. Kong comes to Hong Kong, and he attacks Godzilla with his axe and gets stuck in the building. Availing the chance, Godzilla falls down on Kong, and they fight a lot. Godzilla tries to kill Kong many times using his nuclear powers. But Kong fights with bravery and survives every time. Then Kong attacks Godzilla with his axe, and he gets injured. Godzilla becomes aggressive and hurls Kong aside with the use of his nuclear abilities, but Kong stops the power using his axe. They get into a huge fight for a long time. Godzilla was very powerful, so it seemed that Kong would get defeated. Godzilla injures Kong and throws him there. He starts growling by putting his feet on his chest. Seeing it, Kong also growls, and Godzilla leaves Kong there. The owner of the company discovers the energy source that will allow him to activate Mecha Godzilla. Here, we get to know that Mecha Godzilla is huge and more powerful than Godzilla. But here, Mecha Godzilla controls everything. He kills the company's owner. Then he kills his assistant. Then Mecha Godzilla comes outside, breaking the wall. When Godzilla sees Mecha Godzilla, he moves forward to kill him. They fight a lot. As Mecha Godzilla was so powerful, Godzilla looked defeated. Mecha Godzilla hits Godzilla many times, and he falls down. Madison and that hacker try to turn off the power of Mecha Godzilla, but all the machines there were locked. On the other hand, we see an injured Kong, whose condition is very bad now. He was about to die. When that girl listens to Kong's heartbeat, she says that it is going to end soon. Dr. Nathan says that we will have to give Kong an electric shock to save his life. They give him shocks using that anti-gravity car. Kong shook, and he was now alive and conscious. That girl tells Kong that Godzilla isn't our rival, but her friend. So go help her. Just as Mecha Godzilla was about to wipe out Godzilla, Kong showed up out of nowhere. Kong saves him. Godzilla understands that Kong and I should fight with him. Mecha Godzilla was so powerful that it hung heavy on both of them. Kong finds his axe, but unfortunately, it wasn't charged. Still, Kong uses this axe and attacks Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla was about to kill Kong when he stopped him. Madison and that hacker were unable to deactivate the machine, so they put water on it. Mecha Godzilla has been turned off for a while. Getting the chance, Mecha Godzilla charges Kong's axe using his nuclear powers. Kong was powerful now, so he destroyed Mecha Godzilla. He cracks his feet and hands, and he separates every single part of his body. Eventually, he ends up removing his head too. Since Mecha Godzilla is dead now, everything is going back to normal. But then Godzilla gets back up again. Kong pulls out his axe and gets all set to rumble with Godzilla. They don't fight because they were helping each other out, and then Godzilla just goes back to Kong went into the hollow earth. Kong brought the little girl along with him. The movie concludes here. Your liking and subscribing are very important for us. Please think about it. See you in the Take care, and